Greetings and welcome friends. Today we're talking about uh, describing pairs of angles. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways that angles can relate, not just in ways that are uh, congruent to one another. And uh, so pairs of angles can have special relationships and the measurements of the angles uh, or the positions of the angles in the pair determine the relationship. Uh, so today we're just kind of taking at some very basic ways that angles can relate to one another and these are uh complementary this is an e uh there right there in case you didn't know complementary and supplementary angles uh complementary angles are angles that uh their measures add to 90 degrees uh-huh so they add up to 90 degrees and they could be connected adding up to 90 degrees using angle addition postulate and some 90 degree angle or right angle or they could just be just two angles hanging out and they're kind of like far away from each other but together they still add up to be 90 degrees so that's complementary angles uh and then supplementary angles uh this is actually a special type when they're connected like this if they uh, share a vertex and have a shared side but uh, supplementary angles add to 180 degrees, but they also can be disconnected like that. Uh, and, and one of the ways I remember uh, the 90 degree one is, uh, so let's say uh, say these two angles here. Let's say, uh, so this, this, this angle here is trying to flirt with this angle over there. And, and he walks up and he says, hey, you're a cute angle. I'm a cute angle. Let's get together and be all right. And... And he's like, that's his pickup line, right? Oh, man, that's so good. What you didn't realize, though, is it's triple pun score on that uh, right there. They're both acute, right, because they're less than 90. Uh, they'd get together to be a right angle because they'd add up to be a 90-degree angle. But also, he's complimenting her. Hmm. So he's a, he's a complimentary angle. And that's how I remember this every time. All right, so now you'll remember Mr. Waddy's lame joke, and you can do it. Also, uh, here's a concept of adjacent angles. Uh, adjacent angles are when they have a common vertex and side, but no common interior points. So, uh, right, they're, they're just like side by side. They're connected back to back. They're buddies. Uh, these are non-adjacent angles, right? They're just like out floating in space. They, uh, they, don't, they don't have any connection to one another so you can see that uh complementary angles can be adjacent and supplementary angles can be adjacent right so like adjacent states would be like vermont and new hampshire not like vermont and colorado there's no common border between them all right so let's put this to work right you learn something and now you do something with it uh in the figure name a pair of complementary angles Ooh. hmm Complementary, so add ups to 90. Add ups. <laughs> All right, so which, which angles uh, appear to be complementary here, friends? Yeah, the 53 and 37. So if I want to name those, I would say angle, I could say, let's keep it simple, angle S. I don't need a three variable or three point name for that. Uh, and angle, uh, let's see, angle. B A C. So those ones are complementary. This one I do need the full full name because there's multiple angles at that vertex, and I need to make sure it's a unique name. Uh, and then as far as supplementary angles, uh, which ones do you think are sup? Yeah, right. Not that bad, right? So that's a uh, angle S and angle. I just. It's, it looks like it's got one too many ends there, probably. Bam. And angle, uh, CAD, computer-aided design. Mm, excellent. Uh, so, uh, so there's just the basic thing of can you identify them? And then there will be the problems where it's like, let's put it to work, right? Uh, let's do some algebra with this stuff. Let's apply these properties and measurements and, and things. Uh, so you'll need to remember definition of complementary and definition of supplementary. Let's see, for A, it says angle 1 is a complement of angle 2, and the measure of angle 1 is 92 degrees. So I could say for part A that uh, measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2 equals 90 degrees. That is true, tell you what, by def of, I don't need to abbreviate of, uh, comp. All right? 
def of comp is why that's true, and then using substitution, oh, where's my awesome blue? There we go. Using substitution, I could then plug this in for the measure of angle one, and I'd have uh, 62 degrees plus measure angle two is equal to 90. And then you guys can guess that using subtraction property, right, I could solve for the measure of angle two being, what's that, 28 degrees? Seems like it. Seems like it. All right. Uh, similarly, uh, by definition of supplementary, I could say measure angle three plus measure angle four equals 180. Right. The reason that is true is def of sup. All right. Uh, also here, this was substitution property. Uh, this was subtraction property of equality. Right. But just so get you familiar with the idea of using some of these properties. Uh, and if measure of angle four is equal to 47, that means I can plug this in using substitution. Right. I'm being more formal than you'll need to on the homework, but uh, like I said, I just want you to, I already forgot what angle measure, 47? 47, yes. So substitute and subtract, and I'm going to get measure angle 3 is equal to, what's that, 133 degrees. Right, right? So yeah, nothing, nothing too fancy. Nothing too fancy. Uh, let's see. Ooh, uh, no, I'll skip those. Ooh, for my soccer fans. Ugar football. Here we go. Aha, <coughs> uh -huh. when viewed from the side, the frame of a ball return net forms a pair of supplementary angles with the ground. Uh, so here we go. Notice I've got two angles here. I've got like this, this big angle, this obtuse angle, and I've got this acute angle right here. Those ones are supplementary, so I could write an equation 4x plus 8 plus x plus 2 equals 180. Why is that true? Definition of supplementary angles. All right, and then combine some like terms. We'll have uh, 5x plus 10 equals 180. Right, we'd then subtract 10 from both sides. Oh, guys, this is amazing. Geometry and algebra, add it again. Uh, divide both sides by Cinco. Oh, man, I was just about to solve for x and leave it, but oh, look out, they wanted those measures. Yikes. And so let's see, I'll have x equals, what's that, uh, 34? Yeah. So that's x, and now I could substitute this in. Uh, to find a corresponding angle, right? Uh, so let's see, measure of BCE. Measure of angle BCE is going to equal 4 times 34 plus 8. Uh, so what's that going to be? 120 plus 16, 136 plus 8. Uh, so that's 144 degrees. Uh, so measure angle BCE, found it, and I could substitute uh, 34 into that. Actually, that looks easier than subtracting 144 from 180. Uh, so measure of angle ECD is just going to equal, yeah, 34 plus 2. Right, and that was just like pretty much use the definition and and then do a little bit of algebra, right? So it's it's nothing too fancy, nothing too fancy. And let's see, just for fun, here's here's awesome uh, awesome soccer star guy, and he's all like, what what what, kick it, and then like 144 degree angle refraction, bam, right? And he's all he's all super pumped, man, so amazing. Here, I'll just I'll just leave them right there. There. Now now you understand the problem. I just needed to relate it to reality. Uh oh, additional terminology. Oh guys, these are classic. These definitions are going to be showing up in our proofs all of the time. Todo de los tiempos. Linear pairs. 
I love it. I love it. Okay. Two adjacent angles are a linear pair. So first of all, they're adjacent. That means they have a common vertex, common side, right? And they're not overlapping their interiors. Uh, and they are a linear pair when their non-common sides form opposite rays. Notice, so here's its non-common side and its non-common side. And they are just like the most opposite rays you've ever seen. They've got a common vertex heading in opposite directions. And this is a linear pair because there's two of them. So it's a pair and it's a linear pair because they form a line, right? Like they're the liniest of pairs. Uh, and so if they're a linear pair, then by definition of linear pair, they're supplementary. And by definition of supplementary, those two things add up to 180. All right. So you probably could have guessed that they form a straight angle together, right? Angle addition postulate. Yeah. Yeah. It makes sense. Uh, and then two angles are vertical angles. Um, when they form two pairs of opposite rays. So, uh, so this angle here and this angle here are vertical angles to one another. And uh, this angle here and this angle here are vertical angles of one another. Uh, they're, they're right kind of like opposite sides of an intersection. You could think about it like that. Uh, and then they said, yeah, their sides form opposite rays. And so it was this side and this side opposite and this side and this side opposite rays. Uh, and I, I happen to label these congruent, uh, which will end up being true, by the way, using the vertical angles theorem. But, uh, but first, let's just, right, can you use the vocabulary? I can't wait until we get to like the more exciting geometry. I feel like it's, it's a little slow at the beginning. It's just like terminology and notation. Identify all the linear pairs. So someone give me a, a linear pair here. So linear pair. What do you guys see? Yeah, what do you what do you spot? Uh, well, they're they're not they don't have an adjacent side, so one and three wouldn't work. Four and five, all right. Angle four and angle five. Uh, now, if if I had the terminology of linear triple, I could have said one, two, and three or uh two three and five is there another one in there though that's a pair yeah what do you spot yeah one and four right here's here's the line so angle one angle four all right and then how about for some vats some vertical angles uh anyone spot a vertical angle here angle one angle five Right, those are vertical angles of one another right there and there. Uh, how about angle four and angle three? No. <laughs> but whatever angle two and three is, if that had a name, that would be a vertical angle with angle four. All right, but I don't have a name for it, so I won't, I won't bother. I won't bother. Ha <laughs> ha. Ha ha. Let's see. Uh last example. And we're going to make it. I I'm so pumped. All right, two angles form a linear pair. All right, so close your eyes, you imagine that two angles linear pair. Yeah, got it. The measure of one angle is 5 times the measure of the other angle. Oh my goodness. So I've got two angles that form a linear pair and then one angle is tiny and the other angle is mondo all right that's kind of what we would have visualized there's m many variations of it i suppose but uh so that's what we go and then it says find the measure of each angle question comment oh you already did all right well we'll see if you're right we'll see so uh well what's an equation i could write Right, so 5x plus x equals 180. Uh, because these form a linear pair, by definition, they're supplementary. By definition of supplementary, right, they add up to 180. Uh, and now I could solve, so that's 6x equals 180. Uh, divide both sides by 6. Are you feeling confident with your answer? Probably so. x equals 30 degrees. So if this is 30 degrees, uh, what's this one going to be? Yeah, 5 times 30. Uh, I guess I could write that out. So, 100, 
150 degrees. All right. So, uh, so there you go. All right. Well, thanks for watching, Internet friends.